everyone, it's Tiffany. I am back in The Sims 4 with another speed build video. So today I am bringing you a barn. I'm really excited. I don't know why it's taken me this long to actually make a barn. I think I've had not this particular project on my mind for forever, but for a very long time. I just I just wanted to make a barn so badly. I wanted to kind of do it several like do several different types of barns and renovations of barns. So this isn't a real barn. This is just a barn that is renovated. I okay, we're gonna talk about it a little bit more though here. Uh so I did the solar panel roofing, which I think was fantastic. It looks really good. And I did this beautiful red wood siding which is great it's just the perfect barn color in my opinion now this is where i hardcore struggled i swear i spent like an hour i don't know how long it was trying to find a door and there were multiple situations where i was like okay i could just change the shape of the build i could figure something out because none of these were working i think the closest one was the shipping container one and then that one i put on the side but the one i put on the side was just too small and it just wasn't working out i wanted something i wanted something bigger so then i went with the one on the side but three of them which i thought would work perfect but then at the same time i was like i want it to be a door though because the sim renovated this to be a home and we don't want to wide open there in the front so i did just kind of leave my top choices of doors there for a little bit while i looked at windows and stuff <laughs> Oh gosh, let me know what you guys think of the door choice. I did end up, spoiler alert, choosing the shipping container door. I just thought it was the most fitting. Um, I feel like the person who renovated that, or like the sim that renovated this, even though it was me who renovated this, was like, you know what, there's a big gaping door here. We're just going to throw in a shipping container door. I did want to make this very lofty. So I will tell you, I did go in this, not with a full layout, like not a full plan, but I did go out, you know, into it with a little bit of an idea of what I wanted. This turned out nothing like that. <laughs> I don't know at what point it changed, but I was like, oh, this is like, this is not, this is not what, because I wanted to go for a beautiful loft. Like there's just a bedroom. It's open all upstairs. Um, but then I was like, but I want a bigger family to live here because this, I feel like is such a kind of a waste of space. Um, and not even a bigger family. I think this ended up being two bedrooms so um i wanted the cool little staircase the twisty staircase i wanted to um also have bedrooms and the way it was laid out downstairs i just couldn't put in bed i mean i could have put in bedrooms downstairs but it just didn't look right so i still went with like the lofty and you see i went kind of with a wood theme like a wood kind of theme which is it's still rocking it like this is kind of still where i'm like okay this is my plan i'm gonna make this work i was gonna use a ladder as you saw before instead of stairs but i was like oh stairs make it look a little bit more homey so uh then i couldn't find a railing that matched the the gate railing the stairs whatever I couldn't match everything and it was really driving me crazy I think maybe that's what drove me to actually making a, a different color so anyway I wanted to make it like all open at the top and all kind of like a wood grain inside you know make it kind of more like barn ish but this is just a completely just renovated completely like not even if you go inside you don't even know it's a barn so you can see I changed everything to white and I think this is the this was the turning point. I was like, okay, well we're gonna do it this way. Um then I made the loft way, I guess you could say bigger. I was gonna say smaller, but I kind of moved in that open bit because I wanted there to be room for bedrooms. And then I was just like, Oh, this this might work. I mean it's a small little hallway that's open, which kinda I I like it. I like how it turned out. But this kind of gives me more motivation to come back and do it again but in the way I kind of envisioned but you know it's all good I did want to make this into a little bit of a bathroom a little bit of a bathroom and make this into a bathroom like both of these rooms because obviously they're smaller and then being a barn and I kind of was like okay they definitely need a laundry room but I ended up making one of the bathrooms into a bathroom slash laundry room area I actually used to have one of those growing up like we had the laundry in one of the bathrooms even though the bathroom wasn't a full bathroom it was just a toilet <laughs> with the laundry room stuff <laughs> anyway uh this was kind of like 
well, okay, the blue room is kind of the main, I guess, parents' bedroom, and then I made a kid's bedroom, or, like, a teen's bedroom. I was gonna make, like, a child's bedroom, like, a nursery, but then I was like, you know what, let's make it kind of neutral, so any kind of sim can live in here, you know, it can be, uh, it could be two sims, it could be a sister, it could be a brother, it could be, well, it could be two siblings, it could be, it could be, uh, uh, husband and wife with their mother one of their mothers moving it it could be anybody uh so i went with hardwood floor i think all the way around um the tile in the kitchen though is different i believe i chose a different one anyway we're gonna just have to wait and see because i don't exactly recall i might have done wood flooring because i was like eh. no i think i did end up going with this white and then I was like, oh, it's too gosh dang white. What do I do? And also I did, side note, want a huge like dining room area. So you can see that's what's next to the kitchen over there. That could have been a bedroom, you know, but I was like, you know, it's not, it's not what I'm envisioning. Like my vision is changing as we go. I feel like that's how most of my builds go. And then I'm just like left with all of these ideas and... <laughs> seriously I have so many ideas for houses and then every time I go in to build one it's just a different idea anyway uh, I think this kitchen actually turned out pretty sweet and adorable and I really really liked it I didn't know how it was going to turn out because I just feel really limited with my counter options and as expansions roll out I know the newest um not game pack uh expansion pack that's coming out they actually have new kitchen counters which I'm so excited for but I wish in every expansion pack we would get some new kitchen counters because, like I said, in every one of my builds and every time I talk about it, I just love building kitchens in The Sims. It just never gets old. I love it so much. Uh, so anyway, I wanted to put some gadgets, like obviously a coffee maker, maybe a popcorn machine. But we only ended up going with a coffee maker because I figured, like, I kind of still want to give it the, like, barn like the farm aesthetic a little bit you know uh, i want them to still even though they renovated this barn completely they live in this barn they don't have a giant farm which they can you could easily place this on a big plot of land in the sims um but for this situation it's like they have a small plot of land now they just have a small garden you know they're very outdoorsy but like you know it's not hardcore barn not hardcore farm sorry <laughs> so anyway I was finding things here and there that I kind of wanted to throw in. That always happens when I'm going through the kitchen stuff or, like, the, the little wall and counter decorations. And I just kind of throw them everywhere. But I do really, really like how that kitchen turned out. And I, I really ended up liking how the whole entire thing turned out, obviously. You know, I like to be proud of my builds. Uh, but it does kind of, at the end, kind of seem a little bit more messy. And I just I just like how it turned out. But the kitchen's probably my favorite, I'd say, out of this whole whole build. But this is where I put in the little laundry room. And I wanted to put a little clothesline outside because I thought that would be really cute. Definitely gives it that farmy aesthetic, I guess. Um, obviously, I got to throw in my signature chickens. Always have a chicken in my builds. I think it, I think I'm, I'm doing great on that. I think every single build I've done so far has had a chicken. Pretty sure. <laughs> I try not to forget. Uh, I also wanted to put, obviously earlier you saw I put in dog bowls. Definitely see this family having dogs or even a cat or a few animals because it's just such a nice spacey area. I think I only actually put in two dog or like two pet beds in the whole build. So you'd have to kind of accommodate or adjust that as is needed. If you want to download this from the gallery, which it is available under my tag, which is, or my user ID, which is Ocluck. I'll be linking that down below or leaving that down below in case you need to know how to spell it or how to get to it. Uh, so if you want to download it and renovate this again, or if you want to just use it, it's up there for you. Feel free. Anywho, I wanted to decorate the dining room a little bit more, definitely put some more art on the walls. I feel like I struggle a lot with the art on the walls. Uh, I just, I don't know if it's like that I feel like I'm running out of things, because I do. I really do feel like I'm running out of paintings. I feel like I put the same ones up on the wall every single time, but at the same time, so many of them have different variations that I've never seen. I just... I don't know, maybe someday I just need to go through all the variations and then see all these. You know, like, I always see the default one and I skip over it. And I don't think, like, oh, I should have, I should have, it should have other 
options. So I wanted to do a sectional. That would have been fun. Uh, but I decided to just actually do those new tiny, no, eco, wait, really tiny living, tiny living couches? I think they're tiny living couches. Then I did the whole fireplace thing upstairs. I was going to do it downstairs as you saw, but I think it makes a really nice area up in that nook. Um, and I decided to make that kind of like the relaxation nook. I really wanted to do a coffee table too, but it was just, it just seemed so big in this area and it just wasn't working out, but I really liked it. I ended up just going with the tiny living stuff. Tiny living stuff pack is probably just the best stuff pack ever in the history of stuff packs. It just has so much to offer. I love it so much. Uh, I love this carpet that I chose too, not the one that it's on currently, that's the one that goes upstairs, but that yellow one, it's so cute, I think it looks so great with those couches, and then I chose just a smaller table, I believe, I think I chose that little one, if not, I guess I didn't choose a table at all, but I'm pretty sure it's that one, and I wanted to put a little fish tank in that little nook by the stairs, I thought that was really cute too. So this is really exciting. I definitely can see myself play, uh, putting my, my, myself some in this house or, or something. It's just such a cute little, cute little build. Um, anywho, uh, just throwing in some extra lights to light up the place, make sure every room had some lights. And then I wanted to obviously throw in some pet beds. Didn't know where to put this big one. I definitely wanted the big one in case, you know, you have a big dog or something. I ended up throwing it upstairs and doing the little one downstairs. So you could even have a dog and a cat or a big dog and a little dog or whatever you want to do. Then just decorating this bathroom. I was just, I'm always trying to challenge myself with these bathrooms anymore because I feel like I always do the same thing as in either a black and white bathroom or a white bathroom or a black bathroom. <laughs> so I'm trying, I mean, obviously this is still like a very white, black and white bathroom, <laughs> but I threw in a little bit of brown and I, plus I never use that shower. So I think it's progress for me, right? <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> maybe one day anyway just finding some extra things to throw in the kitchen too I found out there were just so many things I wanted to put in the kitchen and I just I just couldn't fit it all but I did like how this bathroom turned out downstairs I love the art that I put on the walls and everything and then even the bathroom upstairs with the combo with the laundry room I think turned out really fantastic I don't know I really really do like how these both turned out they just look pretty awesome and then all those carpets were like tucking underneath the bathtub and I was like that is not realistic like who is how <laughs> so eh. anyway just throwing in some of these some of my favorite little paintings and again I feel like I struggled hardcore with the paintings and the art on the walls just because I don't know it's just again I feel like I'm running out I feel like I've used everything which I probably have but it's okay. I just need to I just need to challenge myself a little bit more and cycle through all of the options. Anyway, uh, finding just a bunch of random things and I don't oh, and then I found that garage door and I was like, ooh, maybe I could rig that to be the front door, but it's just I was like, you know what, let's just stick stick with what we got because I don't wanna have to renovate this, I don't wanna have to change anything. It was already tricky enough. <laughs> I did struggle with this back wall here behind the te television. I was a television behind the television. Uh, I did something really cool with it in the end, so that was pretty awesome. But I did have a hard time kind of figuring out what I wanted to do uh, because the paintings, like I wanted some paintings there, but it was just like nothing fits right. And I don't know. but the nook upstairs is coming along great. I love the red and it, just a deep red color and the fireplace. It just oh, it looks so good. And then obviously I had to have something on that plain wall, like in the open loft area. And that's where I chose that painting. Here's where I did this something cool. I did that little wood bit behind that TV. I think it looks so good. I think that was just one, one artsy choice. <laughs> But uh, let's see what else I do. I have, I'm drawing a blank. Oh, I definitely thought it was way too white in there. So I kept trying to change the color. And I think I ended up doing like accent-y walls. You see, I'm, I'm separating it with those little pillars. I think it's blue, right? I think that's like a very light blue, if not a very light green color. It's going really fast all of a sudden. And then I left the wall by the door white because I wanted it to blend in with the upstairs white you know and I didn't want to make it all blue especially since I'm doing the red fireplace area you know so I don't know I think it turned out pretty good anywho we are moving on to the 
bedroom? No, I think we're still finding art for the bathroom. And oh, I did put that sectional in the ba the bedroom because I thought that would be really cute to have a, not a sectional, sorry, the little couch because I thought that would be really cute to have a little seating area in the bedroom. I have like a full out hangout, a full on hangout area. But I think this kids, quote unquote kids bedroom turned out really well. I was going to do two beds, but I really wanted that rocking chair in there. So, you know, because I was going to do like a kid's bed, like a, a single bed, I guess I should say, and then a toddler bed. But nope, I wanted to have that rocking chair in there. And I probably should have put like a little knitting basket or something in there. That would have been fun. I did choose that double bed over there that has the, like the quilt look to it because I thought that would be really cute. Also, I didn't really realize that triangle poster right there, the pyramid with the eye poster, the all-seeing eye, uh, that I didn't realize we had a poster for that. That was so it's such a good find for me. And then I'm just stuffing it with all the stuff that I could probably possibly think of and trying to find some art, <laughs> you know. And more art, more art, more art. I was trying to fill it up because there's so much space on all of the walls. <laughs> uh, but anyway, now I'm starting to work on the bedroom, which I really like how it, how it is. It has just the little seating area and it has the bed. Now it does change a little bit and a little, yep, there we go. So we get this awesome plant shelf thing that I thought was really fun next to the seating area. And I was really struggling though with the end tables. I really didn't, I don't think I like those. I mean, they're okay, but it just, I don't know. I wanted something to fit and it just, I guess they don't really fit. I don't know, but they're fine. I wanted to obviously throw in some curtains and this little, little a tray thing. I don't know what that's called. And then I wanted to throw in some carpets, but uh, what else do we do? Oh yeah, of course we have to do the outside. Now, I feel like the pumpkins really scream, you know, barn. Now, I did want, I kind of wanted to make this originally, like, a very autumnal, I can't, I cannot, I struggle with saying that name. Very autumn-like, um, autumn, autumn, I can't, I cannot say that for some reason. An autumnal build. Let's just hope that sounds right. Um, but I decided against it at some point. I don't know. I just kind of wanted to make it a very generic thing so that you can decorate it, like, spooky or um very fall like if you wanted to obviously if you have the fall season on it would be best um this is our little garden i did make a cute little path however spoiler alert path disappears i didn't really like how it looked in the end but i thought the path was really fun though so i don't know you could always add it back in it's not that difficult now uh let's see i think i did i keep yeah i think i kept the fence like that i did that same path pattern for the little walkway, the little entrance, and here I just changed the garden. I think they just look so much better without it. And of course, gotta have a pond, right? Am I right, guys? Am I right? Am I right? Uh, I didn't really do much with it yet. I, oh, no, I don't know. I think I was struggling because I was trying to be like realistic about it. Because I was thinking, well, we don't want shaded areas for our garden. <laughs> Because stuff won't grow unless it's shade plants. It was just like very interesting. So I didn't like put a lot of tall trees or anything. Plus gameplay makes it easier if you don't have a ton of tall trees in the front. Uh, so I just threw in some of these little plants around the pond here. I feel like it wasn't my best work with the pond. Um, but I don't know. And then I did have that tree over in the corner and then the tree in the back corner. And then I definitely wanted to get, I haven't put it in yet, but I wanted to get one of those trucks, like toy trucks, and upscale them to put in the yard, you know, makes sense. But the, uh, the pond's looking a little bit better now that I added in a little bit more shrubbery. It does have a little ladder, so you can actually go swimming in the pond, which is fantastic. Uh, I gotta get the pompous grass in there, and the little pumpkins I put by the mailbox because again I didn't want to go too excessive. I wanted to put those little bushes by the clothesline but I also was like I want it to also function. I don't know how this is going to work. I mean I'm sure it would have worked fine. But I didn't want it to look weird so I kind of left them but then I think I changed it again at the end and then I ended up doing all the terrain paint and then I think I wanted to move the clothesline a little bit up and over so that I could put in garden boxes but it just didn't work out I don't think. Anywho, I was finding some extra stuff that I was looking for before. 
But I really wanted to do some garden boxes there because, you know, it gets that beautiful sunlight and, oh, and now I'm throwing in the truck and I wanted to put it kind of tucked in the fence. But like, also I didn't want to, because it's like, how are they going to get it out of the fence? But realistically, <laughs> realistically, simlistically, uh, <laughs> they could get out of there, you know, if they were to drive it. But here's the garden boxes. So that bush was definitely like in the way. And I was like, I don't think they'll be able to access these, but I'm not 100% sure. And I could have tested it, but then I have to go out and get a sim and bring them back in. Which I do test them usually when I'm doing, you know, the tour or, you know, screenshots and all that stuff. Anywho, we are, I think, did I, I want to say I left a garden box, but I'm not sure. I did want to do the woodworking table and I did that over kind of in the shade area, obviously. And, oh, I put in a bike. I forgot about that. I think I decided on the little vertical garden. I don't remember, actually. I do not recall what I chose, ultimately. I did move the gate to the garden to the side. Because I thought having it in the middle was cool. But also, since I had that truck there, it kind of was cramped. And, I don't know. I feel like it would be a... Like, my garden has a corner gate. And, I don't know. Every garden I've had had a corner gate. So, I just was like, alright, let's do a corner gate. I wanted to throw in more pumpkins and then I was starting to think those little plants by the front were not looking good and I started to really struggle with that. I was like what am I going to put here? I just don't know. Um, then I wanted to put in some sprinklers but I was like you know I'll let that be up to the players. Uh, you know they can put in sprinkles if they want whatever. So I wanted to put in these boxes. I thought they looked a little bit better but then I was like no then these baskets are better and then I was like I don't know they look too symmetrical. <laughs> I was really struggling with this front area and I was like oh these these would be really cute but I didn't think I liked any of the colors really so we didn't go with any of those <laughs> I was like I just didn't know what to do so nothing went there you know <laughs> I did put a little picnic area back there and just some finishing touches you know little lights and what else did I put in? I don't even know what else I put in. Oh, bird bath. I did a cute little bird bath area with lots of plants around it. I thought that was really sweet. I think that might be the last thing I ended up doing. And I really, really liked how it turned out. It looks so beautiful. And I put utilized all the sunflowers. I love using the sunflowers. And I always forget that they exist until I run, up, run upon them, come across them, whatever. But anywho. I'm just throwing in some sunflowers here and there, and I think that's about it. And I just did some terrain paint for the other remaining everything new. I uh, again tried to do a little bit of extra. I did like that roof, and I think that was that's definitely something I was undecided on. But anyway, time to go take a tour of this house. Here we are at the front. This is what it looks like lots of fun trees and plants, and I love the little pumpkins. So cute. Now this barn just seems so tall. Uh, we can definitely, I guess we can, well, let's go around over here first and then we'll go inside and then we'll come out the side door. So this is what it looks like. I definitely put patchy over the air and we have the little garden area and the woodworking table, the little dog door, pet door over there. And then this cute adorable area, which is my favorite that I've built so far. Well, not built, assembled, I guess. Anyway, let's go ahead into the house here. So this is what it looks like when you first enter in. So it is very open up there. Well, it's very, very open. You can see all the way up to the ceiling. Uh, but here is what it looks like in the little bit of the living space. Really cute, I love these. These are my favorite couches so far in The Sims, for sure. And we have that cute little little uh, accent wall I guess we can call it and then let's hit the bathroom up I guess and we have this cool little bathroom love the koi picture always love the koi picture it's always a good one and then we have this area this bathroom turned out really nice I like it I love the pops of color from the pictures and then let's go over into the kitchen and come out the dining area so into the kitchen we go this is basically it it's wonderful it looks so good really like it um nothing much to say about it though we have the dog bowls going into the dining room i feel like the dining room really could have used a pop of color i did start with that like hot pink and yellow which looked really good but i don't know probably should have went with that or something but it looks pretty neutral uh, anyway we're gonna go upstairs there's a fish tank 
I was like, oh, is that a little fish tank inside the fish tank? It's not. <laughs> but anyway, love the stairs. All right, so we're at the top. I really probably should have put something there, but it's fine. So let's go ahead over to the bathroom first. I just love how you, you know, can look down. It's all open here. I guess that's a little bit weird. I didn't really think about that, but it is what it is. It's a roof. Uh, so anyway, this is the bathroom laundry room. I think it's pretty awesome. This broom kind of is in the way of the sink, but who cares? It's kind of like just the second spare, the spare bathroom or whatever. And we have the laundry and the hamper and some fun art. Moving on, we have this little decorative piece and down the skinny, skinny little hallway. Oh wait, I forgot to go in the bedroom down here, sorry. Let's go into the bedroom here. And the rocking chair is gone because I forgot to, forgot to place move objects on. Whoopsies, but that's okay. Uh, make sure you do that. I always forget to mention that if you're using, if you uh, usually I always use move objects in my builds, so always put those on if you plan to place the my any of my builds. So we have this awesome. I love this one. I never knew there was one with little critters on it. Maybe I did and I just forgot fun. I love that little dog. He's so cute. Then actually going down here into this little lounge area. We have the dog bed. We have the fireplace. We have this beautiful couch. I love these couches so much. We need more like that. And then I wanted to put this little board up here with lots of pet stuff. And that's pretty much it. Then we'll go into the last bedroom here and the couch is gone. <laughs> Again, sorry guys, I always forget to, oh my gosh, the bed's gone too. I always forget to place move objects, or forgot to forget to put that on before I place a build. Let's try this again. Ta-da! <laughs> Everything's actually here this time. All right, so we have the little seating area, and we have the bed. It's so cute in here, I really like it. So fun. But we're gonna actually, you know, just hop out the side here. This doesn't happen because I was thinking we were gonna go out at the kitchen door, but oops. Anyway, there's this door right here in the kitchen. And we go out. Ta da! We have this cute little side yard. Um, we have the little rehab. We have a picnic table. We have this little planting area and some stuff. And then we have the uh, clothesline. We have a little birdhouse, there's a campfire area, and of course, everyone's favorite, and the pond. Actually, it's probably just more my favorite, <laughs> but we got the pond. It looks so fun. I love it. That's going to wrap up this speed build video. This was super fun. Again, I loved making a barn, and I definitely want to come back and do it again in so many different ways. But leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.